Hey everyone, just to update you on the QuickBooks series that I was making because obviously it's been a while now, six weeks, five, six weeks or so since I last made my, the last video, part eight. And I just wanted to update you on the, the current status of that and what my thoughts are on that going forward. Now, what I've found is that those videos are taking a lot, lot longer than I expected. So for a 20, 30 minute video, I'm actually looking at three, four, five, six hours of work to prep it and then to record it and then edit it and upload and everything that you've got to do to get a video onto YouTube. And it's not really sustainable with everything else that I've got going on. I mean, I don't make any money out of my YouTube channel, so it's purely about putting content out there to give value. And the idea with it was that I would give people who were thinking about Bubble uh, would, would come into it and know that they can build these serious apps. And those were already using Bubble, but uh, were sort of at the beginning stage or just got the basics but needed to know then, then go to the next stage to build the, the, the app out in full, that they would then know, be given the steps of how to do it. So with that being said, I've had to look at also some other issues that people have raised, uh, maybe not on the YouTube comments but elsewhere. One is legal, is that, you know, by copying their app sort of colour for colour, uh, feature for feature, you know, there is a potential for copyright. It's unlikely, to be honest, and probably people at QuickBooks are not, probably just figure that actually it's good for their brand, which is probably another reason <laughs> not to continue to do it because uh, I don't want them to get a benefit either. Not that I've got anything against them, but, you know, either way, it's not good. From an ethical point of view, you know, they've sunk millions into developing this app and to the design and the software design, and I know what the hard work that goes into that. So to just sort of take it, copy it, and then say, oh, look, I've tweaked a little bit of something and made it better, I think is, is not great. As we say in England and maybe in other parts of the world as well, it's just not cricket. But primarily it's because of the amount of time it's taken up. So I did say that I would I would do it, and I want to do it, and I want to give that type of value, building out a full-blown commercial app. Uh, but obviously if I continue with with that one, like sure books or you know the QuickBooks clone, is that I'm going to have to throw it away at the end of it. There's nothing in it at the end. So perhaps a better way to approach it would be to would be to maybe build out a real world app, something that I intend to commercialize at the end of it and actually sell as a SaaS product. So I'm actually, the last couple of months I've actually been designing and putting together a plan for a new app that I want to build. Sorry, my dog's just having a drink. And uh, developing a go-to-market strategy and everything like that. And part of the plan with that is that it was going to be a building public app. So in other words, I wouldn't necessarily how to build the workflow in, in Bubble. But what I would do was to give regular updates on the new features that are being built up and encourage people to, to sign up as well and to, to also to give feedback on that. But I, I thought about this and I thought, well, maybe I could extrapolate that out and actually show you how to build the app in Bubble. Okay, not everything, not everything. I've got to keep a few secrets, but but uh, but most things. Okay, and so that you can you can go ahead and you can see how an app is built that is go, going to go to market and my thinking behind it and everything that goes with it. So, and also that then it brings the the, the video series into my sort of circle of what I'm doing day to day. It becomes then part of the marketing mix. It becomes part of what I do rather than. It kind of something being separate that I'm struggling to find the time to do. That's the plan anyway. So the QuickBooks clone series will stay up on YouTube for a while. Uh, but I'm going to pretty much start again. I'm going to show you how to build the, the app from scratch. My dogs are growling at each other. So how to build the app from scratch, the app that I'm actually planning to build. And hopefully it, it will achieve the same thing. It won't have the QuickBooks hook, if you like. But... I think it will give you guys some real value on how to build out a proper app that I actually intend to do something about at the end of it, rather than an app that I just that I've copied from an existing commercial app and that I'm just going to throw away at the end of it. So I hope that explains where I'm coming from, and I hope that you'll get value from it. So look out for that fairly soon, and yeah, I, I just hope that you guys will will get some value from it. Okay, listen, thanks for watching again, and I hope I will see you very very soon as I go into building out a commercial app. Take care and take it easy.